Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'm here to do a love reading for you today. How you all doing? I miss you guys so much. We're going to get right into your reading. We're going to start off with two overall energies and see where that takes us, okay? Overall energy for the Aquarius in love. Oh, two wanted to come out right away. Okay. So somebody might be traveling to you because they're full of a passion, fire, and desire, or the fire has been lit under somebody to take action, okay? We have the fire, and then we have a world. You could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There might be a little distance in the way, but somebody's finding a way. Somebody's been guided, somebody that like that fire is lit in somebody to take action, okay? So let's read the cards. It says fire. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. So somebody is burning away things of their past that no longer serve them, that's been holding them back. You know, maybe somebody's being holding back from their love offer because of things they suffered in the past that it, like changed their perspective on how they felt about being in commitments, being in love. They know that that needs to go away. Okay. If they want this new beginning, they need to put that shit to an end. Okay. That's that world energy. So they can move forward. So they can allow themselves to have new experiences, exciting experiences. I feel like somebody has found that in you. You guys could have met over social media. This is my social media card. You could be at a little bit of a distance. This could be an opposite attracts type deal. Okay. Also, but I think somebody really wants to um, come forward. And if they have to travel to get to you, then that's what they're going to do. So let's read the world energy. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. So this is how people, uh, somebody, this is you or them. This is how they're feeling about the situation. They're being open to the idea of romance again, of having it all, maybe engagement and marriage, union. They're really open to it now. And they're happy and excited to be in that energy. Okay. All right. Let's get into it with the tarot. Why is fire in the world here for the Aquarius? Okay. So we have the five of pentacles because they, like I said, they closed themselves off to it for quite some time. <laughs> you or them. Um, but they're opening up. Like somebody's caught your attention or you've caught the attention of your person. And they're ready to open the door. But they've been closed out to this energy for quite some time. Maybe put their focus elsewhere. Their intentions elsewhere. But, you know, I, I'm soon feeling like somebody's ready to arrive. Maybe so you're getting a pop-in visit or something. Something's coming to your door. Okay. <laughs> Alright, another one. Another one for the Aquarius. Could also be dealing with, um, you know, I know Taurus rules the five, which is uh, the birth month of May. You could be dealing with the Taurus. I know Taurus is in this world energy too, which would be the fixed signs. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. All right. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So this is the two of pentacles. Somebody couldn't make up their mind, but somebody is making up their mind. Somebody's receiving clarity. Somebody wants to, is making the connection to their Ten of Cups. The rainbow for me represents the Ten of Cups energy. You find it in all tarot decks usually, and it's there for the Ten of Cups. So somebody's might be traveling from point A to point B or bridging the gap. Also, what did I say? Leaving behind a sinking ship or leaving behind or burning away those energies that no longer serve them. Okay? This is what this person is doing. 
this is a, like somebody that you're dealing with is in the process this quite possibly could be past energy or somebody from your past or a past situation but somebody's trying to bridge the gap make a connection find their happiness or they know where their happiness is they're connecting the dots it's not on the sinking ass ship okay the ship has a hole in it and mind you this person has probably tried to patch that hole or repatch the hole but then something else went wrong with it so they know that they had to either go down with this ship <laughs> or they had to abandon ship and swim to shore okay find some stable ground get themselves together get their ducks aligned and in the process they might have crossed your path okay and this person fell for you It's leading them to their happiness. They're, it's leading them to their happy person. <laughs> they've, they've made the decision. They're firm with their decision. They know where, where this person is for them. They're connecting the dots and that's where they're going. Okay. For the Aquarius, more earth energy. Can be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, wanting to work something out, all in divine timing. Things are manifesting as we speak, okay? Here's the, look it. Things are up in the air, but like something's finalizing. Something's becoming more stable. Something might be coming back around, but things are being worked. The angel of temperance is here. It could be dealing with Sagittarian energy, but this is energy that hasn't like, the energy I like there, the analogy is, you know, when you're baking a cake, okay, <laughs> uh, the cake's almost done. It's not ready yet. Uh, but when it is done, you have to take it out of the oven. You have to let it cool before you put the icing on. Put the icing on too soon, the ice melts everywhere and it's a disaster and you, it's, you can't serve it. But if you give it the time to cool off, okay, <laughs> like maybe a situation it had to take its time to cool off so you could put the icing on it, so you can serve it to the people that you love, okay? I just feel like things are working out for everybody involved for the higher good. Some sort of, I don't know if the, this is reconnection or... Somebody with, I don't know, angel of temperance, angel of patience, giving the time necessary to figure this shit out is what I feel, <laughs> okay? All right, another one for the Aquarius in love. Oh, we got King Money. King Money has been showing out a lot today in all the readings, okay? Oh, uh-oh, okay. <laughs> Or maybe King Money is going to be making his grand appearance in Scorpio season. Okay. Or somebody's putting an end to this no communication. I told you, you could be definitely dealing with some earth fucking energy here. King Money, King Pentacle, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that can offer you very, something very stable. He's very stable in his pentacles. He is very humble. He's, he's built himself, he's built his empire from the ground up. He could recently be separated or divorced, put an ending to something. Um, could have Scorpio in their charts. Scorpio is here. <laughs> okay. Um, somebody wants to bring an ending to a past event that has been long overdue to be put in the past or I don't know something from the past is I don't know affecting some sort of relationship or this King Money doesn't want to be alone anymore. Okay. And that's his realization. That's what he's coming. 
into alignment with, okay? King Money loves to be in a long-term relationship. King Money loves to be married because it's all about the legacy for this guy. He likes to come home to a noisy house with his kids running around because that's his legacy. That's his future. Um, but there is a closure here with this Scorpio. Or like I said, if I'm speaking with the feminine energy, King Money could be manifesting in Scorpio season and making their grand arrival. <laughs> okay. Or this King Money is putting something to bed so he can move on with something he feels very, very passionate about. Okay. All right. Let's, why, why is the Scorpio card here? Okay. Somebody's full of passion, fire, and desire. What did I say? Okay, we have the Knight of Wands here. Somebody's caught someone's eye, and they're full of passion right now. Like, sexually charged. Like, they really want to come forward where they really like what they see. They, they might be traveling somewhere to be with their person. Okay, let's see. Okay, somebody, okay, this is like a pop-in visit too. What did I say, somebody's coming to Yodo with the five <laughs> pentacles here? Somebody might be like, okay, so the thing about the Knight of Wands energy is this is my initiation to, to a relationship. This is, you know, getting to know each other. This is going on dates. This is having some fun together, bonding, getting to know each other. So I feel like somebody might be asking somebody out on a date or traveling to someone um, and spending some time. Like I said, this is also my weekend warrior card where they're here, uh, you know, they arrive on Friday, but by Sunday they out. So somebody's looking to spend some some time have some fun let loose a little bit okay sometimes the king of pentacles is very structured and wound too tight somebody wants to have some fun let their hair down and get to know their person okay they really like what they see aquarius aquarius cross watcher okay All right, some more fucking earth energy here. <laughs> you definitely could be dealing with some motherfucking earth energy. Okay, the Hierophant. You could be definitely dealing with a Taurus. Okay, Taurus rules the higher, um, the Hierophant card. But more than just passion, fire, and desire, somebody feels like there's a spiritual connection here. Or somebody's having like some sort of spiritual awakening. Somebody feel like, you know has found their match and also like if you're dealing with king money energy that's what they're on the search for they're not king of wands okay they, they don't have a wandering eye they're they're a little obsessive and possessive this one because um they don't have time to spread around their time it goes into their investments and it goes into their family usually okay so when somebody if this energy has their eye on you they're having their eye on you for the long term. They feel a spiritual connection and they feel like this is the one I want to take to the chapel. Okay? All right. <laughs> Another one for, whoa. Okay. Yeah. The holding, that's what, okay, it fell over the Scorpio card. The holding back. More earth energy. I don't know what else I can tell you. Okay? It fell over the Scorpio card. The holding back is over. The reservation is over. The stagnancy, the taking the time. The, the fire might have been lit under this King of Pentacles energy to give them some momentum, to get them, you know, to take action a little faster, okay, with the horsepower here and the Knight of, okay, something ignited their passion and they need to take action. They need to move a little faster. They're not holding back anymore. That 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 delay is coming to an end. Okay. Let's see. I 
I just got hit with this and I have to say it because I know I'm reading for a collection of people here with different experiences. Also, this somebody could have found out that their King of Pentacles was already in a relationship, okay? And they've been deceiving someone, they've been betraying somebody, they have been um, a Knight of Wands, a player. So that could be another aspect of this story too, okay? Okay, so other than that story, this is somebody that's on a quest to find their person. They think that they found their person. The fire has been lit under them and they're taking action and there ain't no mountain high, there ain't no valley low, okay, to keep them from you, baby, all right? So they're here, they're coming. Somebody is definitely coming. And they're, you know, before they make their grand entrance, you're going to be receiving some sort of grand message, some sort of grand communication that, um, like, they're really going to make their presence known, okay? And King of Pentacles or Earth Energy, their offers always come padded, all right? They don't come empty-handed. They're always with something. So they're delivering a little special gift or an opportunity or a, an offer of some sort. Okay, one more for the Aquarius. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, my God. So somebody's coming in to balance the scales. Somebody has like a legal contract on their mind, which would be a, like a marriage contract is what I feel. But we have um, justice. We have good karma. This relationship brings balance to both of your lives. Or somebody found their equal in you, okay? And it's time to celebrate. It's time. To, this is a yes. This is um, your somebody's wish fulfillment. This is why they're moving forward. And also, this is celebration. Like I said, they want to go out. They want to have a good time. They want to let their hair down. They don't do this very often, but this is what, you know, to bond together. Like, look at this. Chandelier is full of candles and fire. And then there's all these um, cups, you know, and the big jug of wine. And somebody's happy and excited and wanting to celebrate. Um... But there is a rat in the ceiling. <laughs> there is a rat keeping tabs and all this. Oh, gosh. Okay. Ooh, yeah. And because this King of Pentacles has a lot to offer. You, this, you could be in the King of Pentacles energy, you know. Um... And, you know, King of Pentacles, they do all right for themselves, you know. They get a lot of gold digger energy, you know, that, that, that looks in their direction. But, <laughs> um, I'm just feeling maybe this King of Pentacles has found their, like, a, like I said, has found their match. And... Somebody that has been trying to gold dig or trying to ad make their advances towards this King of Pentacles has been keeping tabs on them, has been watching them, has been watching their progress, has been watching them if they have social media sites, really keeping track of this person. Um, I don't know if they're relaying it to the rat's nest with the other gold diggers. I don't know. But hold on one sec. So what I'm trying to say is Aquarius is somebody is keeping tabs on your person and who they're offering their cup to, who they're raising a glass to, who they feel is their wish fulfillment. Okay, there's an audience there. Here's the rat in the ceiling. <laughs> okay, so, oh my gosh. When this announcement is made, out comes the rat's nest. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, let's see what the message is between you and your person yeah this rat is gonna be wants to send bad juju already is what I'm feeling okay or it's been sending wet I don't know watching you <laughs> what did I say oh my god oh my god 
watching you i said that with that rat watching you move on is killing me but i want what is best for you Even though you're not with me, my love for you grows every day. Okay. Somebody might have an attachment on you or this rat has an attachment on your person. Okay. When I can hold you again, I will never let you go. This came out, oh, this snuck in from another deck. It says retreat. So chilly willy, there was some time frozen or frozen in time. Why am I feeling like that? Um, there was some distance, there was some coldness. Time spent alone, reflection on past and current situations. It says retreat. So maybe somebody left a situation alone or somebody's leaving somebody for someone else. I don't know. All right. The connection between Aquarius and their person. I sometimes struggle to express my feelings for you. But maybe with some liquid courage, it might come out a little easier. Okay. <laughs> um. You know, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, they're very nurturing, they're very loving, they're very dedicated to their person. Um, but they don't let you know that right off the bat, okay? That's shit that's earned. They're, they're earners. Okay. I can feel your energy around me every day. Sometimes I imagine how my life would with you would feel. Sometimes I imagine how my life with you would feel. We are forever soul and heart connected. That's that universal energy, okay? That That's that Ada, <laughs> that infinity symbol. That's that red thread energy. Somebody feels they loved you in a past life. They want to love you again in this one. Okay, I'm tired of hiding my true feelings from you. Your smile is making me melt every time I see your face. They love your face, Aquarius. They love your smile. They love the joy you bring them. All right, one more. I became numb because I refused to take accountability for my behavior. Okay, now well, there's a reason for this card to be here. This is the card of being numb and frozen and not, um, and closing your, I know I said something, didn't I say somebody was closing themselves off to love, closing themselves out to um, that relationship? Is that here for you or for, yeah, here. Due to past traumas or past events, somebody closed themselves off, gotten, to chilly willy mode. Everybody plays a part in everything, okay? And somebody just needed to, um, when I'm feeling numb, I'm feeling like frostbite, okay? <laughs> frostbite. Um, yeah, somebody was closing off, closing that door to that feeling. But now somebody is melted this chilly willy's heart and they're ready to open the door to love again sometimes i struggle to express my feelings okay. one more to wrap it up for the aquarius reading i miss the feeling of your body on mine all right that's that friction that's that fire passion and desire that will melt a chilly heart all right i'm gonna leave it there for the aquarius i hope this message helped you please don't forget to like share and subscribe it does so much for my channel and also if you'd like to book a personal reading with me all that information is in the description box below okay till next time baby dolls ciao